Well, hello, hello, my sweet dolls. This is Candy Doll, and I'm back here with yet another unboxing for another cool, cute, sweet little dolly. Before I get into that, I just want to thank you all for being here and being a part of our sweet dolly little world, our dolly little family. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so, so very much for being here and rocking with all of us. Yes, and I want to thank you all for returning, my new sweeties. My uh, re my returning sweeties. Oh, I'm a little tongue tied because I'm excited. <laughs> Do I always say that? Yes. So thank you all. I really appreciate you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn your notification bells on so you will be notified whenever I upload a sweet video for all of my cool things. And you know, this is an adult doll collector's channel. In case you don't know, so this is for adults 18 and over. So I've got this doll, the Barbie. Tokyo 2020 Olympic skater Asian doll super cute look at her artwork on the package very cute she is curvy she is Asian she's got pretty curly hair so very cute very very awesome to have a curvy doll that is Asian that is so awesome she's got a cute face of course that face does look awfully familiar like we've seen that before loving it she comes with a little shirt that says Tokyo 2020 because that's when we were supposed to have the Olympics she comes with a skateboard, she comes with a helmet, she comes with the wrist guards, knee pads. Here is the artwork on the back with her gold medal. So, very cute. I need to get her out of the packaging because she is so cool. And honestly, I did get her because I would love to swap bodies with Miss I Love Lucy Barbie. If she has had a complete makeover, as you know. She did not look like this, <laughs> but I did her hair. I gave her a new body. This is a curvy body, um, but she is not. it's not a made-to-move body, but I think she looks awesome on the curvy body. And it was a pretty close matchup because this original doll had one of the old-school click and snap knees. So I just wanted to give her a you know, more modern makeover, but I wanted her to have some articulation. So if I decide to keep this doll face, which I probably will, I'm going to just swap the bodies and she will have the made to move body and she'll just have the regular one. Let's get into this, shall we? So she is out of her packaging. Here she is. She does come. I did snap her into the skateboard. Her knees do not, I mean, her ankles don't move, which is a little weird, but it's not a complete made to move doll, but it comes with this super cute shirt. And I like the fact that there's designs on the back. That's really cute and it has Velcro and it does look loose fitting. So it looks like I would probably even try to put this on a Ken doll. So that's cool. It's white, it's stretchy, it says Tokyo 2020. So that's cool. And here she is. She's on her skateboard. The wheels do roll. I don't know if I can show you that, but it does roll. Wait, does it roll? No, well, it does. <laughs> the wheels do move. So here is her cute pink helmet. It's like a rose pink. I'm going to take the helmet off. Y'all know I like to undress the dolls, okay? <laughs> so that will be happening, but I'm having a little trouble getting the helmet off. Okay, I got the helmet because I want to check out her hair. Her hair looks pretty. I'm loving the color. Here is her wrist guards, which are pink. I'm loving that. You know what's funny about these wrist guards? I have carpal tunnel syndrome. So I have got some medic medical braces that look just like this, except they're like an ugly dark brown color or blue or whatever. I wish I had this one. <laughs> they look just like that. They have long straps, but I wish I had the pink ones like that for my wrist. So I'm taking these wrist guards off. She don't have carpal tunnel. She's just a skater. <laughs> so there goes the wrist guards. Here she is snapped into her skateboard. Really cute pink color. I love that rose pink. It matches the helmet. She has these like hot, not hot pink, um, neon knee guards for her knees. Let's take those off. You know, I like to undress my dolls. And I'm thinking it looks like she would, just at face value, it looks like she would be a good match for Lucille Ball. Sorry for the lighting was my battery is going. So I know the lining is not the best, but I think she might be a good, somewhat good match because of the pink undertones. So, yeah. 
So the Lucy doll is, is like very pale, but she's got pink undertones. And she's like a classic old school Barbie skin color. But her skin tone is like a very lightish color, but she's got pink undertones as well, not yellow undertones. And her hair is phenomenal. Loving the hair. It might need just a little bit of a wash, which I always tend to do. She's got pretty uh, wide set eyes. She looks a lot like the other, the new made to move doll like that, the redheaded one. She looks a lot like the new made to move doll. Um, she doesn't look that Asian to me. I don't know. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. She's got thick eyebrows. Hair is really pretty. Curly. Kind of curly and waving. She has this orange top, which Velcro's in the back. Look at her articulation at the elbows. At the wrist. Shoulders. You see, there's no chest articulation. But at the waist a little bit. Her knees, they don't go all the way back, of course, because it's not really a made-to-move doll. It's just an articulated doll. She is got thick thighs, got somewhat of a butt, and nothing at the ankles. And she's got the flat feet. But you know what? This is going to work for me because I made this Lucy to be like the mom of the red-headed dolls over there, the uh, red-headed curly BMR doll, and the um, Becky Lynch doll over there so I wanted her to be the mom and I wanted her to have like an updated look I boil washed her hair got Lucy's hair nice and straight which was very difficult put some more modern clothes in her and I just wanted her to have a more articulated body so yes yeah, so she will have an articulated body now and I think it'll be cool I will show you guys on Instagram if you're interested to see I'll leave it link down below so you will see my Instagram so you'll see how I style, how, how it looks, if it worked out, which I think it will. It might be a little off, but sometimes once you put the clothes on them, you can't really tell if you do a body swap and it's not a perfect match. You know, that tends to work. You know, that tends to happen. But in any case, oops, Lucy just fell over here. <laughs> She's excited to get a new body. But I really do love her hair. I think it's awesome. A very pretty brown shade. And there she is. This is the Tokyo... As I said, uh, skateboarder doll, Olympic skateboarder doll 2020. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go swap these ladies. Guys, take care, stay sweet, and keep dolling. Bye for now. Bye. Give me my body. Ah! <laughs>